Welcome back to Lost Ember. Time to chill out. Let's explore this little oasis, is what I called it last time. Which kind of implies that it's like respite from the harsh outside, but the thing is, kinda everything's an oasis. This part is just particularly nice. inside of logs. Haven't done this in a while. I wonder if we do that over something in the water, if we could actually do a special thing. I don't know what the thing in the water would be. Babies! this tree. It's growing out of the rock. I mean, I think trees can do that if they split the rock and kind of grow through it, but this one doesn't look like it's split it. It looks like it has a symb symbiotic relationship with it. Hold on, can I? Ah, yes. It's gonna be a little bit hard to do this, though. Do fine motor control. The water. It used to be filled with that algae and scum. It doesn't look very healthy to drink.
There's an opening behind that pink tree up there. Fishing hook, a simple fishing hook widely used to catch small fish. It's like this is as high up as we can go. That's a lot of ducks. <gasps> fish! Can I be the fish? Oh my god, I can. Okay gonna do that obviously but first while well, I have the hummingbird Fishing arrow. Fishing arrows were a popular hunting method for fish, used particularly for bigger fish and considered the favorite fishing tool of the more experienced hunters. That's it for the immediate vicinity. Let's go be a fish. So how does this control? Tap. Oh. I can tap to dash, but even if I just used the movement on its own without dashing, this is how fast we can move. It's quite fast. Let's dash. What is this? Uh, oh. So that sounds like a... Ooh! <laughs> we can jump out of the water! So swim up and down. Very, very similar to the hummingbird controls. Can we go on the land? Uh-oh. Oh, and then we can, like, um... Wiggle our way back into the water. Oh no. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Eh. Are they okay? difference from the hummingbird though is that the left and right trigger which goes up and down it doesn't uh, with the fish it actually makes you move like not just orient yourself to go that direction if you decide to press dash which is how the hummingbird works but if you press the thing to go up it doesn't just make you aim up and then you still have to dash to actually go towards it instead it actually makes you move up and down so you can use them in lieu of the movement or the dash or the just straight normal movement. And also as the hummingbird, you have to dash to move. You can't do normal movement. Ooh. 
Oui. <rire> Yeah, this controls really nicely. Feels nice and looks nice. It's a really pretty fish. Ooh. Ah. Oh, that's a new thing to look out for. Azure trumpet. This underwater species was sought after to cover wounds and bruises. The Yonrana believed it to have a to have healing powers. Nevertheless, it was pretty hard to get hold of, as it was not only underwater, but also hard to spot. So yeah, let's make sure I didn't miss any other ones. to jump at some point to get up to like a to go upstream that'd be so cool look at this place it's so alive yeah look at these they're like purple and blue and green they're so vibrant let's be a different color rivers being dirty and foul when I was alive, but not much would grow in these areas. Ooh. Surprisingly, I don't have to fight against the current at all. Oh, it'd be fun to, f to flop down there. But did I finish exploring up here? Ooh, look at our puppy swim from underwater. I never looked at it from that angle before. Uh, yeah, I don't think I missed anything. Over here is where we got an artifact, I think, as the hummingbird. Yeah, this was. Then we're good. Oh, babies. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, here we go. butt wiggle I can do if I just hold the, the button to go up without doing anything else. <laughs> just vibing. I just got an achievement. Splish splash. Is that from doing a certain amount of jumps? Is it from the weird butt wiggle? Fish don't really have butts.
quite recognise this place. Keep looking round. to Kilotazi, our capital city. Drowned, reshaped by water and time, but still here. I don't remember there being a lake of this size here. This is the critical path, because that's where the memories are headed. So what's over here? Actually, I should just go up. around with the other way, or maybe the other way ends up going this way. the other way just link up with this way? Ah, oh, it does. Well, that jump wasn't quite as cool as I thought it'd be, because the jump didn't really start before we started falling. I tried. The Whispering Towers. People used to call them that because somewhere in the fog you always heard someone cry. Mourn their lost ones. This was a sacred burial place, you see. My name would be carved into these stones as well. If I'd been granted the funeral ritual, I would already be in the City of Light then. Do you remember this place? You know, I, I wouldn't mind staying here for a bit.
The pestilence seemed to have taken its toll. The water to carry the spirit on its journey. The fire to burn away the lies and mistakes of a past life. To free the true spirit within. going through your head. I have a bad feeling about this. How dare you come to her funeral? I didn't know she was in the house. I'm sorry. Everything that happens from here is your fault. Yeah, apology not accepted. Yeah, honest mistake. something over here. Oh. Just an invisible wall. chisel. Whenever someone died, the Yanrana used to carve their name symbol into one of the stone pillars to show they would always be part always be part of their life and not forgotten. These pillars were known as the Whispering Towers, as you could always make out faint prayers and whispers of the mourning family members. Seems like he started to have a lot of followers. I wonder what you're up to. Mm, I'm too big for this.
the heck was that? I got kind of stuck in place. We're good now. Look for a way inside. a lot of ways to go. Ah, oh, this looks like a secret, but I think it's just an invisible wall. I get a splash underwater. That's not physically possible, I don't think. So like this, this thing here, I might be able to, eh, probably not, but I might be able to jump over it. No. Invisible wall. my way over here. Why not? I just got an achievement called It's a Me! And it's a pipe that I just got, so it's obviously a Mario reference. A pipe? And a mysterious one. Kind of... This description is just full of errors. A pipe and mysterious one. It kind of make want to explore hidden areas. <laughs> Two words missing, I think.
Look at these sewers. Can you believe our people built all this? Oh, here's the thing I was talking about. I was wondering if we'd have to do this. Yep. Oh no. Yeah, that's the first one of that I've found. White Cloak. Being as rare as it was back then, the White Cloak was a delicacy reserved for festivities only. I want in. I don't think there's anything in there, but I want in. This has to be the canals beneath Kilotasi. Let's hurry. I want to show you the city. Don't hurry me. I've got collectibles. I'd be terrified to walk these stairs. Even back when this place wasn't as crumbly as it is now. Still. One slip and you are gone. <laughs> 